Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix Online Meeting 223, November 4th. Ah, the holidays always get exciting for me here because it ends up with anniversary today. Yay. Uh, birthday. Birthday, Thanksgiving, birthday, Christmas. It's crazy time here. I hope all you are doing well in the world where you're at. We have a relatively... A minimal agenda, so we'll go jump on that. As always, these meetings are recorded for those of you that aren't with us right here, right now. If you're in the chat, go ahead and say hi. We'd love to have you here. Uh, what are we doing today? We're doing triage, and that'll be about it, unless people want to have bring up something in questions or comments or other things going on in their world. Um, so, um, yeah, triage. Bob, you ready? Sure. All right. So there's two of these things assigned to Bob, which I think we're skipping. Right, Bob? We are. Which then leaves us with this last thing that Bob opened. A meeting all about me. I like it. <laughs> At least triage. Um, we should have native custom actions for the things that UI depends on because um, that's turning out to being a requirement, um, especially like an arm not doing the emulation thing anymore. Right? No, no. The, so right now we pull in the x86 custom actions. Okay. Um, and everything is the only ones. And it, it all works, um, except, you know, theoretically, if you were running on a system without WoW 64, uh, it wouldn't work. And and I don't know if you can actually turn off emulation when running on ARM. Um, I don't know that they let you turn off that feature uh, on ARM 64 client OSs. Um, so x86 mostly works, and of course, these custom actions are not uh, mostly not critical. Um, I suspect that uh, the Wix UI validate path custom action probably is critical. Um, if it you know, didn't run, it would not set the property that says the path is valid, and that seems bad. Right. Oh, this seems reasonable. Um, it does. Unfortunately, it's not just a yeah, simple matter no, of, no. of doing the uh, the stuff I've done in the past to build the multiple custom actions. Um, it's a lot more like the um, uh, the the catch-all the the. Uh, properties that Wix util extension provides. Mm -hmm. um, in Wix 3, we reference them with property ref that pulls in the custom action that sets the property. Um, and that's, you know, essentially what's happening with uh, Wix UI extensions. Uh, the problem with that approach is that property ref does not contain enough information to choose custom action platform. So, and Wix util extension, I worked around it by providing new elements rather than using property ref. And frankly, you know, it that's the better way to do things anyway. Property yeah. ref is, you know, not exactly a discoverable way uh, to figure out how you get this information. Um, but it's a little bit of extra work, and it was on plan. So, are you planning to do this? Well, I did say it was unplanned. <laughs> <laughs> or perhaps someone in chat would like to take a swing at this? I mean, this is basically apply the patterns of other places to the UI extension. Um, yeah, basically. I mean, so it seems to me the way that we have to do this is is that instead of using UI ref, again, this is, you know, property ref uh, for a custom action feels a little weird, but we actually added... UI ref to the language. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, I was trying to do the math, and I don't want to talk about this being something we did 16 years ago. Uh, but we added UI ref to the language in Wix 2 16 years ago to support uh, the to support Wix UI. Um, so it's it's a little weirder. Um, this will require probably a number of elements. Um, you know, like, because again, right now, how do you how do you use the installer dialog set? Well, you set a property and then you do a UI ref. Mm -hmm. um, that 
probably needs to be part of the the element to this. So it's it's not complicated, I don't think, but yeah. Does this need a whip to walk through the new elements and all the attributes they should get added to them? Um it requires something like a whip, yeah. I mean it's not a complicated one, but it needs a bit. Right, right. Yeah, but we do need yeah, we need to uh, yeah, we need to walk through how each of them, uh, each of the existing dialogue sets, you know, works and how that would map into a custom element. All right. So I I I I think this all sounds good. The only question is who's going to go around to do it. I don't right. hear Sean jumping around back there saying, "Ooh, me, me, me." Well, <laughs> maybe he was muted. Oh no. Okay. No. <laughs> I, ha I had a feeling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not taking additional discovered work right now until I get my backlog much, much yeah, better. Yeah, that, that's, that's my only uh, concern Your about volunteering to do it right now. Um, I, I would like it in, in you know, Wix 4.0. Um, All right. I, I'm, I'm willing to throw it in 4.0 unassigned for a while. And we'll just always remember that, it's like, yeah, it'd be nice if someone picked that up, and if we don't have time, it probably falls out. Okay, uh, I will assign it to myself. Oh, okay. Um, just with the caveat that that is not a, you know, contractual commitment. Ah, there is no contractual commitment. That makes sense. Well, that that's true. <laughs> <laughs> and anybody that shows up and tries to assume it uh, needs to show us the contract that they signed. Right. <laughs> there are a few people out there that have signed contracts to make sure things get fixed in Wix, right? And and I've signed them, and I will fix them for those people, right. um, but not this. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. And then we are done. Bob has ended with too many things that in the triage world. Um, going back. We are done with triage. We are on to other things that people want to talk about this week, if anything. Um, this is always where I kind of fill space. I don't really have anything. Um, not a lot has happened. Um, um, I guess I'll give one real quick update on .NET Foundation, just so, I mean, I'm slowly trying to put this thing to bed. Um, but I said I would uh, continue to follow what they're doing there so we don't get surprised in the future. They have started a maintainers committee um, they already have too many committees for the number of people that are volunteering on the .NET Foundation. So um, the people that are trying to make the .NET Foundation something are spread very thin. But they started another maintainers committee because they realized they were ignoring maintainers, which was the root of a lot of the problems that we had with them two, three weeks ago. Um, and people are joining the committee, and I am watching the committee and they've done nothing thus far. But my expectation is that should something show up there, that's where it's going to show up. Um, or at least it'll work its way there if something else determines, if something else impacts maintainers. So at this point, I think we can kind of say that's what's going to happen. Uh, .NET Foundation is back where it was before for us, um, not doing a lot, but not in our way. And we have a spot that should be straightforward for me to follow along and um, see how things go. It would be great if they would stop posting giffies of self-congratulatory welcome messages to the chat that they have, but people are having more fun, and I'm just there for making sure they don't do anything to mess us up. So that's that. All right, I filled a bunch of space with um, stuff. I think it's pretty quiet. Um, Sean's been doing I have something. Oh, great. Because again, meeting all about me. <laughs> yes, please, Bob. Can you close us out here? Wait, wait. Yeah, before sure. we go to that, I want to say one more thing. Oh. Sean has done some great stuff. He got the App Bear guys were very nice to bring back the old image. Sean did all that. So we've proved that the builds still work with the old image with older Visual Studios on it. Still trying to get ourselves moving forward on the new images in GitHub actions um, when I get a way of defining what it is exactly we need and I try to push forward. Anyway, so it, it's still a problem. We're still trying to get to the right place, but forward progress will be made. It's just disappointing 
how slow it is with Visual Studio right now. So um, thank you, Sean, for getting it so we can at least validate with AppFair at this point in time, and then we'll continue to move forward on that yeah, front. So I guess most people can't build Wix 4 anymore. I'm true? able to build, but I haven't figured out why. Um, so the, the problems that other people have described are not affecting me right now, and I'm actually up to date with Visual Studio because I haven't done a release in two weeks, so I took the update. So I, I, I don't know, maybe I'm just getting lucky right now. Um, so is it like a parallel MS build thing going on, or? I don't know. I, I, I have not dug into why it's working. Um, so I, I mean, I'm just stuck on 16.11.3, and it works for me, so I probably won't change anything yeah, until I fix it. Yeah, right. definitely. <laughs> Yep, and Bob can reproduce the failure pretty consistently, so at least we have a canary that should it come back to life, we'll know things are working. That's <laughs> 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 kind of backwards, but, you know, um, whatever. All right, so uh, this is a real pain, and I don't, I haven't figured out what I want to do about it. I've been, it bugs me, and I haven't figured out how to go solving that yet, so, but it's, Anyway, so it's a thing. We're still making progress on different fronts. All right, Bob, why don't you close out our meeting? Sure. Uh, so one of the items that I'm unable to work on for Wix 4.0 because I can't build Wix is uh, getting all the uh, extensions, many, many, many extensions we have um, modernized in terms of supporting multiple platforms and having uh, unique IDs to avoid conflicting with merge modules that were built with Wix 3. Um, one of them is uh, the dependency extension, mm -hmm. which is very minimal now because most of that functionality is in is now in the core tool set. Right. Um, the extension exists still in addition to just having the, the um, I think there's a little bit of, of compiler extension in there, uh, but we left it existing to support the custom actions that pop up if you try to remove an MSI that right. something else depends on. Yep. Uh, but we've not talked about, or at least I can't find any record that we talked about it, how we were going to actually implement that. Um, so, for example, uh, I believe that we decided that we were going to add an attribute, a custom attribute in uh, in the dependency extension compiler, dependency compiler extension, um, to add, have a custom attribute that says, I don't know what we call it, um, yes, please verify this at uninstall time. Enforce. Enforce? Something, something like that. Yeah. yeah well, it should okay. be there. That, so that was my... So I had two questions. One is that where we were going to do it, i.e. we're not going to do that in the core tool set and, and add the uh, custom action dependency there. That was which, my... That was my understanding. Yes. Okay. Um, I thought it was question. there already. Yeah. Um, I thought I'm using it in the end-to-end -end tests. Well, that would be interesting because that would probably answer my second question, which is what we're going to call the damn thing. And I didn't, I, again, uh, didn't find any information about what we decided there, um, which... Uh, yeah, um, we don't have anything. Well, I guess we do actually have that. We have the provides. Oh yeah. No. Okay. Never mind. Uh, so. For closing out the meeting, I completely screwed up, and we don't need to add any of this. 
Uh, just kind of the way this meeting is going, everything has turned out to be short conversations. Um, yeah. The I I am way behind on the DPI awareness of things. Um, I didn't think that V3 was very DPI aware at all. Yeah, it's not DPI aware, and it, so it's, it's. I mean, what happens is is that the engine throws up the splash screen while the process is still. DPI unaware. And then what happens is the custom BA loads up a .NET uh, framework UI, either WinForms or WPF. And if you have a, a recent version, then it's going to change the process to DPI aware. And when that happens, Windows redraws the splash screen in a different way. So that's what that person is running into. So then in V4, if you say you just need to specify what DPI awareness your BA is, and then that will be set from the beginning. Yep. And it, the splash screen won't flash or anything. Right. So the answer is it's fixed in V4. And Ron, that's great. He's able to. So, yeah, so Ron and I, I, I I'm up to date minus a couple commits and I was able to build and Ron can build so that's that's interesting okay um, thanks for the data point Ron we're gonna keep uh, the build I guess is that it's it's problem. some combination because yeah. I'm getting the problems from the UCRT mm. and I'm wondering if there's a combination of, of uh, individual components that you can select from mm. the Visual Studio installer that you know, lays down different libraries. I admittedly try to minimize the amount of stuff I bring out of Visual Studio. Oh, so. I do too, because you check one box and you get eight different things. <laughs> there is that too. All right. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Um, so, yeah. If I remember correctly, yeah, Sean did the magic math of calendar uh, looking forward to the future. Um, that was very specific. Oh, wait. Jacob wants to go. Would it make sense to make the splash screen thread DPI aware? DPI awareness of the bundle authoring. No. We added a DPI awareness for bundle authoring, yes. And we agreed that that was a huge change that we didn't want to bring to three. So. Yep. yep. It's fixed in four. That's where it's going to get better. Um, helping us get four done is probably then the best way to move forward there. All right. So. Meeting in two weeks puts us at the 18th, which avoids the uh, Thanksgiving holiday, the U.S. Thanksgiving holiday. Um, so we're all good for two weeks from now. We'll do this again. Um, that's all I got right now. You guys have anything else? Nope. Nope. All right. So, yeah, four. Yes. Four is the way. That sounds like something we should be able to get out there. Four is the way. So say we all. And then whatever does the Mandalorian say that I don't have in my head correctly. This is the way. That is the way. This is the way. Something like that. Um, four is the way. The way forward. All right. Two weeks. 9.30. Fire Giant Standard Time, which is also known as, I guess it will be Pacific Standard Time at that point, because clocks fall back this weekend for most parts of the world. Um, and we'll do this again. Same people, hopefully. It's lovely to see all you in chat. Anybody else that wants to join us, plus all of you that are watching this later. Until then, you all take it easy. Keep on coding. Two weeks from now. Bye. Bye. Bye.